Hello and welcome to Chill Game Build, the channel where you come to chill and where I play video games, build Lego and repair gadgets. This is series 2, episode 8 of my build and review series and this is the second to last episode of series 2. In the last episode, I built this, set 76915, the Lego Speed Champions Pagani Utopia. And in this episode, I'll build and review this. Set 76914, the Lego Speed Champions Ferrari 812 Competizione. Here are the details from the lego.com website for set 76914, the Lego Speed Champions Ferrari 812 Competizione. It was released in January 2023 and is still available at time of recording. It retails for £19.99 here in the UK and it contains 261 pieces, which works out at 7.7 pence per piece and it has an age recommendation of 9 years and up. Here are my opinions of the LEGO Speed Champions Ferrari 812 Competizione, set number 76914. I will start with 3 things that I like about this set, followed by 3 things that I dislike. Then I will rate it based on 3 key perspectives, being the build experience, play experience and value for money. And finally, I'll give my overall verdict starting with what I like and the first one being how well it is sculpted. So there are minimal studs on show, there's a few on the top sides and a couple on the back there, but other than that it's mostly tile pieces and flat pieces. The rear flows well down to the sides and the front end has a good down slope to it. And if we look directly from the front it definitely looks menacing with the grinning grille combined with the printed headlights. I also like how the designer implemented these side recesses. So instead of using dark pieces to make it seem like there's a hole there, there is actually a physical crevice there. And the black side skirts go almost all the way around the base of the model just like the real thing. And the second thing that I especially like about this model is the intricate rear design. So we have some unusual pieces combined with interesting techniques to make for quite an intricate design. The first thing that really stands out is of course these stud shooters. These are attached sideways on a module so I'll just take that off there. As you can see they just go into a stud piece there and then attach like so and that gives just the right angle there for them to fit in between this 1x2 spoiler piece and that fits just perfectly I'll put that back together then over to the lights we have a module on either side like so 
where there is a 1x2 brick piece with studs on three of its sides to build up and down to create a seamless module for the lights. And they attach easily like so. And finally, the best bit for me at the back of this build is the spoiler module just here. So if I take off these few pieces, you can see that this lifts up like so and it is in fact attached by these 1x2 rocker brick pieces. And it's a fairly simple module with a few stickers attached. And that clips into place like so and when you push it down it lines up perfectly so there's no minor adjustments needed and when you put the bricks on top it gets locked perfectly into place so there's there's not really any movement there and it looks exactly like so Also a quick one, just a quick shout out to the hood here, where this black stripe is mainly brick built. I do like that. There are a couple of stickers just here on these 1x2 tiles. But other than that, all of that is brick built detail. And the third light for this set is the detailed interior. So I'll just pop off the windscreen like so. And take out the driver. As you can see there are two printed pieces here for the headrest which is very nice. We've got the Ferrari horse stallion logo there. There's hints of yellow showing through mostly the black interior and we've got a sticker for the central console which includes a little bit of detail as well as a suggestion of two air convents in the centre. The seats are also brick built and the minifig is attached by only two studs inside which makes it a lot easier to get them in and out. So those were the likes, over to the dislikes, and the first one being questionable connections. So the whole build does feel quite solid, it doesn't feel like it's going to break, it's well put together, however I do fear that some pieces are likely to be lost. So although I like the back of this model, I do fear stud shooters are susceptible to becoming detached during play, they are exposed and they're only connected via a single stud there at the bottom. And when you go to put these back on, they are a little tricky to get them to sit just right. Also, I'm tempted to actually remove the triggers as they can interfere sometimes, as they can lock up with some adjacent pieces, causing a bit more difficulty to get them to line up. We've also got a few instances where there are single stud connections, such as these bowed tile pieces here on the top they can easily be knocked off there because they're on the corner and also down here at the front I feel like that could easily be caught especially when running along the ground being so close to the floor and one last one the bonnet can also pop off if there is a bit of pressure applied to the front that will also come off but at least it's such a big module that it is easily noticed and can quite easily be put back into place. My second dislike would be the offset steering wheel. So it is a bit of an eyesore and can't really be unseen once you really notice it. So it's definitely offset there to the side. This is a common limitation to the design of the chassis which can be solved using jumper plates but not on this occasion.
as you can see it is much closer to the driver's left hand than it is to the right. My third dislike would have to be the stickers. So there are 23 individual stickers in this set. So that is a little too many. Speed Champion sets generally do have quite a few stickers, but 23 is still quite a high number. They could have possibly gone with a brick built design for the yellow stripe. They could have simply replaced these red pieces with yellow pieces and omitted the stickers and maybe printed the Ferrari logo. However, it might not have been as accurate as it would have been missing those black stripes on either side, but at least it could have saved, say, six or seven stickers. So, how would I rate this set? Well, for the play experience, this set gets a two out of five from me. It does work as intended. It will roll along a flat surface, although it has very low ground clearance, so it would definitely have to be probably a hard surface. There are no major play features as with most speed champion sets. There is space for one passenger inside. However, although good looking, it's solid enough for play despite the possibility of some pieces coming off. But there's not too much excitement other than it being a car and that you can get the driver in and out. For the build experience, this gets a 4 out of 5 from me. It took approximately an hour to complete. As always, I took my time. I often enjoy building these speed champion sets since the designers must get creative to achieve the shapes required to match the real life counterparts. There are two bags in this box. In bag 1, you build the whole back end of the car and apply a small amount of stickers to the back. And in bag 2, you construct the whole front end with some stickers as you go and right at the end to complete the model you must apply the last five stickers to the bonnet. For the value for money this set gets a two out of five from me. I feel the price is just about justifiable for this set. It's designed well and has basic play value. The price per part ratio is slightly more than other speed champion sets so I feel LEGO should have either included more printed pieces or reduced the price. This set retails for £19.99 and contains 261 pieces. So that's 7.7 .7 pence per piece. In the States, this set retails for $24.99 which works out at 9.6 cents per piece which is a little higher than average. According to BrickInsights.com, for LEGO Speed Champion sets, the average is $0.08 cents per piece and $17.13 per minifig. So once again, this set is over average. So overall, this set gets a 2.6 out of 5 from me. Yet another gorgeous Speed Champions model that has few studs on show, it has basic play value and the price per piece is just about fair. Although I feel LEGO could have either included more printed pieces instead of stickers to better justify its price. I'm sure car enthusiasts and especially Ferrari fans would be proud to own this LEGO set. And I think kids would enjoy playing with this set too. Thanks for watching my build and review video. If you enjoy my content, please like, comment and subscribe. I would really appreciate your feedback so I can continue to improve the quality of my content. This has been Chill Game Build. Stay tuned for the next one. Over and out. Peace.